This is News 8 at Noon. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Nettie Iranpour in for Eric Connert. And I'm Stella Escobedo. Well, Netta, if you step outside, you will be able to tell it is another warm day outside. You can feel the humidity and it makes you wonder, where am I living? Is this Southern California? What's going on? Yeah, we're dealing with another day of hot, humid air. Also, hazy skies across San Diego with so many fires across our state. It certainly is nerve wracking when you see hazy conditions out there. We want to talk about the air quality that's forecast for today. For now, this is Otai Mountains camera looking out towards the west. You can see a little bit of that haze. There's a little marine layer coming in through our coastline as well, but this is your afternoon forecast when it comes to air quality, according to air now. So they do expect some unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups, seniors, those of you with asthma, any respiratory issues, please don't spend too much time outside. It's already hot and humid. You don't want to add, uh, you know, just unhealthy air to the mix, of course. And then right along the coastline, you'll see there that's in the moderate range. For now, we are in the moderate range, but by this afternoon, as that heat builds, we'll get more of that stagnant air and smoky conditions all across the state, certainly impacting so many people. Here's a look at our current temperatures. 98 now in Ramona, 98 in Escondido, 90 in Fallbrook. Certainly very, very hot out there. Our dew points are in the 70s for many areas, so it certainly does feel really sticky. Although compared to 24 hours ago, we have cooled down a bit, five to even 11 degrees cooler in various parts, especially inland. So giving a little bit of relief. I know it doesn't feel like much. We're watching this. It's now a category three hurricane Genevieve off the coast of Baja, and you see the ridge of high pressure that's pulling in our heat. We'll see the direction of the movement here. What it does is sweep in that moisture coming in from Baja from the Gulf of California here from Genevieve and that's pushing in some of that humid air that moisture. It's also increasing our chance for some thunderstorms. So the thunderstorms came through much of California, especially Northern California, causing all of those fires and you can see it yet again today. Those firefighters dealing with triple digit heat. In fact, you can see some of the smoke in our satellite imagery here from more than 30 fires that are currently burning. Here's a look at one of the latest ones that swept through neighborhoods overnight right Right around midnight, this one picked up steam. Wind gusts just pushed it from Napa onto Vacaville. And take a look at the images overnight. This one just uh, incredible to see. Very, very uh, heartbreaking to see. The LNU lightning fire It's a complex of fires all started from those lightning strikes. And it's destroyed at least 50 structures, many of them homes. A lot of people woken up by the sound of the fire and emergency personnel telling them to get out of their houses and then had to run to a escape the flames and nothing but just their pajamas. Now, also firefighters have been deployed across the state to fight these more than 30 fires, including more than 100 firefighters from right here in San Diego. Cal Fire crews locally are now helping with these. They started at the Apple Fire, they went to the Lake Fire, and then they've been moving further north to other fires where, of course, the lightning has caused a lot of havoc from Napa on to Stanislaus County, Santa Cruz Mountains. There are many, many to keep track of. And this in turn caused several small fires all because of the lightning. So that all out statewide effort means it would take a while for any resources to reach us here in San Diego if we needed any extra help. We're always going to have resources back in San Diego that are able to cover. Um, but the, the lag time to get resources in to help us um, is going to be significant. So um, we're, uh, we're going to be just as aggressive as ever as trying to keep these fires small. So firefighters do ask that you help them out by not starting any fires, of course. In these hot conditions, a tiny little flame can really cause problems. You can also help by conserving electricity. There is yet another flex alert, but the hours that they want you to conserve now between two and 10 p.m. So it's starting a little bit earlier today. Unplug those major appliances, set that thermostat to 78 degrees. 